Welcome back to the lab folks. And today we got another little mailbag and possibly some other stuff. Uh, we'll see what we can get to. But I think the um, the influx of uh, mail from my AliExpress spending spree is beginning to thin out, which uh, is, is, is good. Let's we'll start off with this package here. I think this is one of these packages because of the waybill number on it, that AliExpress kind of combines things from different stores into one package. And sometimes that makes it inconvenient for doing mailbag videos because I'll get something in um, in a package like this that is not intended for the lab and uh, uh, in there will be things intended for the lab. So I can't really show you the, the unboxing properly. So let's see what we got in here in this one. Yeah, I was right about that. We've got, uh, we've got three different things from three different stores. Okay, let's start out with this. This is a this is a little sliding gauge thing, which would be great for laying out panels and stuff like that. And uh, I, it, I think this is really really cheap, like under two dollars shipped. And yeah, well, it looks really cheap. So yeah, it's, it is quite uh, flimsy, although it's a very it's a flexible material, so it might not break, but it is very flimsy. The reason I got it was to kind of lay out things from an edge, and that's exactly what it's designed to do. So if I wanted to, let's say I was going to drill a hole up here, and I wanted that hole up five centimeters, I don't know what that's in, well, five of these things, whatever they are, up from the edge, then uh, I can do that. I can, so I can mark it over here, I can mark it over here, and I can draw a line between them, and I know I'm exactly even from the edge. So I really think it's just a, it's just good as a sliding gauge here. Now it it stops at those uh, indentations. You can see those indentations here. It stops firmly on those. Kind of okay in between as long as you don't put too much pressure on it, but it will tend to slide into place. I think it's going to come in handy anyway. I mean, in most times uh, this sort of thing is kind of arbitrary and you're just trying to pick something that looks right. All right, this next thing here these are some sort of module that I got. Yeah, lithium battery charging modules. These are also quite inexpensive, and he got a lot of them for the for the money too. So, so USB micro USB input, and you got the battery plus. So it, it looks like it's got protection built into it as well. You got the battery here, and then you got this power supply output. So not only will this charge it, but provides uh, should provide for protection if they're insisting on doing it this way. Let's see what AliExpress site says on these. Yeah, so it's a it's a two-in-one module. It has protection and uh, charging built into it. I said they're pretty cheap, but for the for the ten dollars Canadian I spent, or about ten dollars Canadian, we got twenty of them. So that should, uh, that should keep them going for a while. I'm making uh, little projects, battery powered. I got this, uh, this bag here, it's supposed to be a cable organizer. I have all my cables kind of in random places and uh, you know, they move around because I don't have a designated spot for them. So I was hoping that this might uh, I could make, get a collection of my main cables and keep them in this bag. So at least I can go to this and uh, find the cable that I want and put it back in here after I'm done. Yeah, famous last words. But that's the idea. It's just, you know, basically a cable organizer. You know, you could put some, uh, you know, little adapters in here and, yeah, and have, a, have a, a connection kit, as it were. Oh, SD card holder there. So whatever, um, I don't know what it really was designed for. Maybe maybe this is designed for chargers, cables, USB sticks. So I'm gonna use it for cables. I hope it'll come in handy. All right, what do we got next here? We got this next, and I don't know what this is. So we'll find out. Uh, okay, yeah, so this was a 
a very, very, very inexpensive little plastic project box. Whenever I see anything like this, if it's, if it's cheap enough, <laughs> I'll buy it. I remember back in the old days, I used to shop at uh, Radio Shack. I think most of uh, us older folks did. And they had, uh, you know, a couple of different kinds of inexpensive project boxes for either type. And, uh, you know, one was kind of like a, a, a metal, all metal case with a, a, a kind of a U-shaped bottom and then a form top that went over and a couple of screws went on the side. And then there's another one that's just like a, a, a black plastic box with an aluminum plate that went on it. And you could get uh, those in, in, you know, fairly small sizes, you know, about this size. For very very cheap but now when I look at the price of cases project cases uh, they're, they're ridiculously expensive and um, you know so I've just taken into the habit of if I see something going in a bargain I think this is this is one of these uh, buy three things for two dollars and get free shipping deals I don't know if it's still under that anymore those things kind of go in and out of that deal but uh, yeah, so it's just a, a little project box. That'll come in handy for something in the future. I don't have an idea what I'm gonna put in it yet, but we'll put something in it. We'll put something in it for sure. Okay. All right, what do we have here next? We have this. I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. Yes, I do, yes. So I'll show you what this is. This is a, a little module I picked up and it's for use with this, with this uh, ESP32 CAM module. And what it is apparently is a way to program this module. So you're supposed to plug this in like this And then you just plug into here and it provides a serial interface, a USB to serial interface to program this um, with your Arduino platform. And it just makes it a little bit easier. I thought that, you know, if this camera does work out, that uh, probably what I'll want to do is I'll want to set up a couple of them around the house, like the back door, the front door, the garage, places like that where people might want to gain entry without my permission. And it comes in in two different models. Uh, it, there's, there's, there's this one here, which is the FTDI chip. And then there's another module with a CH340 chip. So whichever your preference is. I got, the, I got the FTDI one because I know I have those drivers are already set up. I think I probably have the CH340 driver set up too. If you do any kind of electronics work, especially with microcontrollers, you'll end up with both of those anyway. So with, with respect to this uh, module here in programming, this is, it's not it's absolutely necessary. I mean, you could, you could certainly use something like this, which is another FTDI to USB module. But anything like this will do the job. Or one of these. I mean, they, all, they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. So you don't need to get one of these. This also was very inexpensive. I thought, yeah, it would be worth the investment to get to go along with this, just in case. That's a, a project we've got to do, a little video we've got to do in setting this up. I've uh, looked it up online. It's, uh, it's fairly easy. It just involves downloading stuff into your Arduino platform, getting the right files, and then, of course, just copying across the right firmware into this. And uh, away she goes. And uh, the firmware is, is, of course, open source, so you can modify it to do what you want. I'm going to do this sooner rather than later. So have a look out for that video. And uh, this is the second last, this is not a big uh, pile here, this is the second last item in the pile. I think I know what this is too. This is something I saw on, the, yeah, that's, that's right. This is something that I saw on Big Clive's channel. If you've not seen his channel, look him up. He does some pretty interesting stuff. So these are like forever pencils. Well, they're not really forever pencils. I don't know why they call them that. But basically what they are is a, is a, a metal tip. And in this case over here, I think they're a, a kind of wax. 
So these ones are metal and these ones are kind of wax, the, the different colored ones. And then these, these pen format things here, or pencil format, whatever you want to call them. And so this one comes with a tip on it already. And uh, they're, they're for, you know, for writing, taking notes. I do a lot of that, so I think these are going to come in handy. Um, and these tips are fairly inexpensive, but I'm going to try them out. You know, I spent what I spent on these, and uh, we can certainly see if that, uh, over time, if that comes worth what they cost. Oh, and let's see what the red one looks like. I do use red quite a bit for highlighting things. Uh, it's not so visible on the green. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Yeah, that shows up. Yeah. Fair enough. We'll see how these work. Now, Clive did mention that they do wear down. They get less uh, defined as you go. I guess that's why you replace them. I think in the back of these pens is space to hold more tips or an eraser. Uh, probably, I don't like erasing things, so I'll probably put more tips in the back of each of these so I'll have tips handy to me. But we'll see. We'll see what the uh, use case is like and we'll come up with a, a process that makes it uh, most efficient for my personal needs. Okay, and then there's this. Now this is one of those things that uh, AliExpress decided to package up with uh, something I got for the kitchen. And uh, because I was cooking a certain meal, and I was looking forward to that item coming. I had all the ingredients ready to go, and when the item came in, I had to get into it. And so this got opened up too. Now what this is, is a, a little Johnny Come Lately. I'd kind of given up on it, and I was, I was kind of, I put in my request to AliExpress to get a refund on it because it was, you know, within a week of the final date. So this is a component tester. It's called the GM328A. And of course, it's made in China. See, this is, so this is the sort of thing you could put a battery on this and build it into something more convenient. Let's see if we can't get a, a USB cable to this and uh, check it out. Okay, so let's get our little jumper thing here and see if we can uh, do a calibration on it. Yeah, not calibrated for calibration clamp three pins together. Right, this is the only one that actually touches to do that of all the ones that I have so far. Okay, it's going through its test, calibration. Of course, these don't come with any instructions, so you never know what it's going to do or how long it's going to take. Is that it? Is that done? Okay, so this has got quite a bit more capability switch off transistor tester frequency it would be nice to have a little bit more information on this so it looks like this is a PWM output this has a V over it yeah, frequent, is, is this a frequency generator this side I don't know Anyway, this is a good quick look at it. We're, we'll do a little bit, we'll do a video on it. I'm going to do some research on this, try and figure out what exactly it's supposed to do and how to do it. And uh, yeah, we could, we'll, we'll take a, a good look at it. This wasn't terribly expensive either. And if it's got all this functionality, it may indeed be head and shoulders above the other ones that we've already looked at. Uh, but we have to have a, a look at some of this stuff here. It looks like an interesting thing, so uh, yeah, look out for a video on this uh, coming up. Okay, there was one other thing. Uh, this actually came in from Amazon. Again, it was stuffed into an envelope with something else. These are just uh, CD4001 um, quad NOR gates. So that's all they are. I just got them in for stock, and I do have in mind a little, a little project to utilize one of these. All right, well, that's it folks. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for coming out to join me and uh, look forward to a couple of the projects that I have uh, coming up um, pertaining some of these items.